And once I, what I hope to do is to unblock those and sort of like if you look at the black cat as what stops you now, after my talk today, you'll have a different perspective and, and that black cat, that big scary thing that's been stopping you, will eventually bang! bang. That's my goal for you today. The yes, best, yes! The problem is, you think you have to write a book that's that thick. I'm saying an 80 to 100 page woman. book is all you need. That's 10 chapters, eight, eight to uh, 10 pages per chapter. That's all you gotta do. This book, by the way, is entitled Everything Men Need to Know About Women. Yo, I knew it. Did I say that? And every page is mean. blank. <laughs> all right, the problem as I see it is this, is the notion in your head about what this book should be. You've got an overinflated idea of what you have to write. You think you have to write a world-changing book, an earth-shattering book, a book that's industry revolutionizing, personality altering, a history-making book, an incomprehensibly complicated work of art, a book that's totally original, with never before heard of content, a book that's massively sized, masterfully written, in perfect English, a one-of-a-kind book, without one single spelling mistake. It think, doesn't have to be all that. That's what most people have to struggle with, is they've got an idea that the book is, is too big in their head. So let me just spell that myth and give you eight Start steps to publishing now. success, and I'm going to move quickly through this. First, look at the publicity this author has received. This is uh, Dr. Linder. Look at the publicity he's received. That didn't happen by accident. That's because he understood the first step, which is determine your primary objective. What do you want the book to do for you? If you're taking notes, write this down. A book is not so much written as it is engineered. So you want to ask yourself, what do you want the book to do for you? You want to look at things like this. Do you want a, a book to generate leads? Is it to differentiate you? What's the main thing? A book can do all kinds of things, but if it could only do one thing for you, what do you want it to do? This is the place to start. A man came to my seminar one time and he, he told me he had a book of poems. Well, I asked him, what's the book? What's your objective with this book? He said, I want to get publicity. Listen to me, you'll never get publicity if you write a book of poetry. You see, most people start with the content. I say forget the content. Think about what you want the book to do for you first. Do you want to do speaking? Do you want to generate leads? Do you want to raise your fees? Do you want to travel? Do you want to go into different things? Do you want to become a speaker? You got to think first what the book is going to be uh, and do for you and then let that be the driving force. I said to him, if you go fresh in the flesh, just invested in a course. And that's what I do. I pull out my money and I invest in courses that are going to change my life. I might have to travel, I might have to feel some resistance from my family, but I do it and I constantly do it because I know it's working, so I double down on it. How many seminars are you attending in your life? Because it is level changing. <laughs> to me, it's not my way or the highway, it's the divine way or the highway. The divine way or the highway. Peace. I'm gonna be on that stage one day. Someday soon.